Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to be doing my favorite books of 2017. Basically, I have 10 books on here. Well, okay, no, I have more than 10 books. So number 10, this is a series. However, this is in a graphic novel form. I saw the graphic novel form and I wanted to read it. And if you know me, I don't particularly like first person books. I have a hard time reading them. It's not my thing, but that's fine. Everybody has their own books they like. I wanted to read this series and then I saw that it was in a graphic form. Unfortunately, there were only three in the series, which sucks balls, if you ask me. So for number 10, we have the Vampire Academy series, or should I say right now a trilogy because they didn't come up with the other books. I loved these graphic novels. They were amazing. They're, they're in color. Look at this. It's beautiful. I love the artwork. I loved the story with these three. I loved how they were in graphic novel form. It was amazing. And I liked each one as it got better and better. We have Vampire Academy, Frostbite, and Shadow Kiss. Like I said, they don't have the others yet. I'm quite upset. I hope they make more because I'm enjoying the graphic novel version of this series. <laughs> Number nine. This is also a series in a graphic novel form. I read a lot of graphic novels this year. This one is a trilogy. I really wanted to read this, but like I said, I could not find a way to read this book without kind of losing interest with first person. So I was like, eh, I don't know what to do. Then I saw the graphic novel version. Now, unfortunately, I only have two in the physical form. I do have first one on my Kindle right now, but I will tell you this, I am getting the other one. You'll see it in my book haul eventually. But the two I have right now is the two from the Legend series, Prodigy and Champion. So like Vampire Academy, I enjoyed the graphic novel version of this. Same thing. It's colorful throughout the whole books. The trilogy was actually really amazing. I did enjoy it. I can see why everybody did not like the cliffhanger at the end of this one. Yeah, it is kind of annoying. Thank you, Mary Lou, so much for that one. I still enjoyed it. It was still a fun read. They are beautiful artworks. I really do. If you loved the trilogy, you'll like the graphic novel. So number eight, we are getting into novels, finally. And this one I actually read earlier this year because I'm trying to catch up with the series Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass in the Throne of Glass series. If you don't know Throne of Glass, which I'm sure everybody does by now, love-hate relationship a lot of people have with it, whatever, I don't care. I'm enjoying it. You have to admit, it's a good storyline. It has a good plot and I enjoyed it. Air of Fire, there were bits in there that, and this is why this is low on the list. It could have actually been a little lower to be honest but there was a lot of bullshit that I kind of wanted to slap the characters. I still enjoyed it regardless. Not much else I can say about that other than I just enjoyed it. For number seven, this one took me a while to read it. I got these books for my birthday and I read them and then I read the graphic novel version of them. So if you saw my November book haul, if not, go see it and my July book haul and you'll see the similarities of the two with a novel and a graphic novel forms. This one is a trilogy, but unlike the graphic novel ones I had, I'm separating these because each one got better and better than its previous. This one, I read the novel first and then I read the graphic novel Clockwork Angel, both in the novel form and in the graphic novel form. If you saw my November book haul, like I said, you'll see this was beautiful imagery and I showed it off and I loved it. It was fantastic in the novel form. Oh yeah. But when you, when you see this get translated into imagery like this, it is very beautiful. So you can see this in your head and then you see this. It's amazing. I enjoyed Clockwork Angel in both forms. The anime style that was in here is beautiful. They want to make this into an anime style series, I wouldn't mind. It would be amazing. But yeah, I did enjoy it. I loved the characters. If you don't know Cassandra Clare's work by now with Shadowhunters, what the fuck? Where have you been? Come on. I kept hearing amazing things about this. Finally got around to it later this year and I enjoyed it. So on to number six. Let's get higher up on this list. This is also a graphic novel, but however, this is manga. This is a legit manga that has been going on for a while, and I love this series very much. It's one of my favorites. The Gray Man, volume 25. It's so good. If I'm gonna say this, if you like the Shadowhunter series, you'll actually like this. This is kind of similar, but the difference is um, there's no downworlders. There is a villain group called the Noah. Their leader's called the Millennium Earl. This is not a spoiler. Don't worry. You have the Order or Exorcist which 
fight the Akuma, which are demons. This all happens in like the first <laughs> manga. It's just, oh, it's so good. And I love the storyline of how it's been going on. I love many of the characters. It's just, it's a great story. It's fun. Parts of it are very funny. I really recommend it highly. If you love this kind of stuff, you'll love D. Gray Man. It's getting better and better, this story. <laughs> We're actually in the top five now. I think you can figure out what this is going to be by just showing it. You have Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, book two in the Infernal Devices trilogy. And like I said, with Clockwork Angel, I loved the book. It was fantastic. Graphic novel made me love it even more because I'm into that sort of stuff. And read it if you read this and you enjoyed it. Read the novel, graphic novel version, you'll love it. And like I said, each one got better. That's why this is higher up than Clockwork Angel because I enjoy Clockwork Prince more. I recommend reading this at some point. It is amazing. It got better with each one. I could definitely see what people were talking about. Go read them. This one got made into a TV show. It was season two of this TV show. It was amazing. I loved it. I read the novel. If you can figure out what I'm talking about, because if you know me, <laughs> what I'm getting at here, Dragonfly and Ember. I read this around the same time I was reading Air of Fire. I love this. It was so good. If you read it also with the audiobook, the person who does the audiobook, I don't know what her name, she's fantastic. She actually, she does a good job with this. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, I read this after the show. Definitely a lot of stuff that they left out, but that's fine because that made me enjoy this book separate from the show. I enjoyed season two of Outlander, but I loved this because there was stuff in there that wasn't in the show and I couldn't be surprised by it because it wasn't in the show. So it made it so much better. Go read Outlander, go read this series. Diana does a fantastic job. You can definitely see her get better and better with each, each book as she goes on. It's fantastic. All right, we're getting up there because we are now in the top three. Three, top three of all of my favorite books of 2017 that I've read. This one was definitely better. I can see why so many people put it at the top of their list back in 2015. And it is amazing. Queen of Shadows, definitely better than Air of Fire. If you can get through Air of Fire and get to this, it's good. Believe me, it will definitely be worth it. But I was, there were, there were like couples I was rooting for, for sure. There, there were also characters I wanted to slap. There were characters I wanted to kill but died anyway so I was very happy because I didn't care because I was like I want you dead anyway yeah I enjoyed this book very much I read it took me a while to read this because I kept going to other books and reading them as you saw it's definitely worth a read for sure getting to this and that's why it's number three on my list this was really good I enjoyed so much of it So now number two, this definitely kicks Queen of Shadows. I thought until I read this book, Queen of Shadows was gonna be two. And if you've been paying attention, you know what it is. Surprise, surprise, it's Blockwork Princess. Book three of the Infernal Devices. Oh yeah, I can definitely see why people were like, you should definitely read this series. It was fantastic. This is why this is two. This is why it's so much higher than its two other books. Blockwork Princess got so good. I cannot, it it was just, oh, it was amazing. And like I said with the other two, with the graphic novel, it just brings it to another level. When you get to see that imagery and you get to see the descriptions come to life in the backgrounds and their outfits and the facial expressions and everything. It was so fantastic. I freaking love this. However, I did not cry. I was upset. Don't get me wrong. I was very upset. And I was also happy at the very end. It was very sweet. Go read this series. Go read it. This is number two on our list. I mean, come on. And now we've reached number one on my list. Oh, what is it? What could it be? Well, it's a third book in a series. I'm gonna say that. It's made into a TV show. Gee, I wonder. And it's got a cover that I love because of the color. I think you can see it. Voyager is number one on my favorite best books of 2017. This is an amazing book. Go fucking read it. If you are a little bored at first with the first two books, just wait, you'll get to this. I know some people get annoyed by this because they were just like, oh, it's not in Scotland. Well, boohoo. <laughs> That's how the story goes, guys. But this takes place in like three places. It takes place in Boston, Scotland, and Jamaica. If you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. Like Dragonfly and Ember, it's got some stuff in here the show never showed. Or it was totally changed around. Go read this book. It's so good. Diana got better. And that's not unusual for an author to do, to get better with each book. Especially if you know these characters. You know where the story's going. And she does. She knows where all this is going. She has it developed. 
develop. She knows what she's doing, Diana, and she did an amazing job in this one. I can't wait to read Drums of Autumn because of this, this beautiful big book that is so good. And that is why it is number one on my list. But okay, that's it. That was all the top 10 of 2017 of so many books. I have read 17 books and that does include gra the graphic novel stuff. This year alone, I read 17 books and I'm actually very pleased. There were 17 books in that whole thing. Yes, some of them are graphic novels, whatever. They're amazing. Shut up. The artwork's fantastic. Go read them. That was my list of like 10 of my favorite books in series and things like that of 2017. You've noticed these books did not come out this year, but that's not the point. These are the books I've read this year. That's the point. I also have a movie slash TV show of 2017, my top 10 of that. Go watch it. I don't have a game one because I didn't really get to play a whole lot of games this year. But next year I do hope to get some games in to do this as well for that. But those are all my books. Go watch the movie TV show one. But that is it for this video. I will see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.